I want to help girls who have that brace and show them that, like, hey, you are still beautiful, even if your physical body looks different <laughs> and you aren't fat and you aren't boxy and all these things that people are going to tell you. You don't really hear people talk about, oh, I have a back brace, you know? But every time I do say that around people, um, somebody knows somebody. You know, like, oh, you know, scoli I, I, I have scoliosis, or oh, someone in my family has scoliosis, or oh, I knew someone that had to wear a back brace, or oh, I, there was a girl I knew had to have surgery. You know, it's, it's way more common than I think I even realized. <laughs> but I had no idea what was coming. It was the end of my innocence. It was the beginning of my mental health struggles. It was the most difficult thing I ever had to do, but also the most profound thing I've ever had to do. Summers were brutal. Um, clothing was the death of me. Um, gym class, don't even get me started on gym class. Um, for me, scoliosis and my back brace was a pivotal point in my life. It was the start of everything and the ending of everything. It seems like, looking back, my brace seems so trivial. It seems like just part of my life. But that's because I don't remember a time without it. Like, I don't. I know there was a time without it, but I mean, your long-term memory doesn't really kick in until you're like three, four, and you know, one of my earliest memories of the doctor was having her discover I had scoliosis. Um. Hello everybody and welcome back to Cat's Corner. My name is Cat and this is my corner of YouTube. Today I am starting a series like never before because I am going to be going into something that is not only very personal to myself but may even be personable to you and that is scoliosis. What is it and what is it like to live with a back brace? All of this and more will come in the series. Today I am purely going to be talking about what is scoliosis? What are the basics of it? What do you know? Because well, you may think, hmm, okay, I've heard of it, but it's no big deal. There are actually three, at least three million cases every year in the United States. This deeply intrigues me because when I got my back brace and found out I had scoliosis, I was only six years old. I didn't know anybody else with it. I had never even heard of it. I just felt cool because I knew how to spell scoliosis and say it. But there also wasn't YouTube around. And now I'm sure for people who find out they have to have a back brace, it can be very overwhelming. Or for parents who have a child that has scoliosis and may be contemplating treatment, it can be overwhelming, it can be scary. You may not know what to do. And that's where this series comes in. I'm gonna be giving you guys a lowdown on everything you need to know about scoliosis, about possible treatment options, how to handle uh, basically yourself once you have those treatment options, so forth and so on. And so, what is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine. That means whereas most people's back goes like this, People with scoliosis either push out like this or push out like that at a certain point in their spine. I'm going to insert right now some x-rays of my own back. These are 
pictures of what my spine looks like. When I was a kid, my back was very curved. I had a 27 degree curve on my thoracic curve, which means my upper back, and I believe I had a 24 degree curve on my lumbar, which is lower back. For those who may not know what the heck I'm talking about, basically my spine is shaped like an S. On one side it pushes this way, and on the other side it pushes that way. And I wore a back brace to push them together and straighten it out. While scoliosis is actually very common, with more than 3 million cases occurring every year, the severity, having scoliosis to the severity of needing treatment such as surgery, a back brace, doctor's visits, stuff like that, is not as common. In fact, it's quite rare. But scoliosis is most often noticed during the growth spurt a person has right before puberty or during puberty. Mine was noticed when I was six. I did grow very rapidly as a child, but then it just stopped somewhere along the line. But that's when my doctor noticed it, when I was about five or six. But we'll get into my story a little bit later. It can't be cured. Scoliosis doesn't just go away. You may have heard a chiropractor or a physical therapist or someone try to tell you, oh, we can cure your scoliosis. But let me tell you, that's coming in another video and I have a lot to say about that opinion. Also, it requires a medical diagnosis. You can't just think, oh, well, my back feels a little weird. It must be scoliosis. Absolutely not. A doctor has to observe your back, feel your back, look at your back, give x-rays, and know for sure that you have scoliosis before they can diagnose you. Also, it can cause uh, pain in severe cases, but other symptoms that you may see, and I will go over this in another video as well, is you may lean to one side, you may have muscle spasms, physical deformity, and an uneven waist. For me, whenever I went to the doctor, they would check, are my shoulders at the same, le uh, the same level? Is the space between my arms and my body at the same width? And are my hips uneven? And in my case, thankfully, we caught it early enough to where I don't have severe uh, signs of this physically, but for some people, if you see them walking very crooked or hunched over, it may be because they have scoliosis and they either was never caught or they never got treatment or X, Y, Z. Treatment options that are available uh, go under a few different categories. There are devices you can use, uh, surgery, self-care, and therapies. So the first is a device you can use, and that would be a back brace. I am going to be talking a lot about life with a back brace because that's kind of what this series is going to be. But in other words, it looks like this. This was my last back brace that I wore. Um, I did, uh, yes, it is uh, very colorful and it has straps on it and the inside has pads. These helped push my back into the proper shape. Next is surgery and this can either be bone grafting or spinal fusion. Now, I won't be talking too extensively about surgery in this series, but I will touch on it because for me, it was my nightmare as a kid. And unfortunately, some people do have to get this surgery someday. And I want to be the person that tells you a little bit about it, what to expect, what life looks like afterwards, what life looks like beforehand, so it's not as scary because it can be but very scary hearing the word surgery. Also, self-care is huge. Physical exercise, stretching, keeping active is important. 
And I learned this, unfortunately, the hard way because when I got my brace off the first time, my core muscles were non-existent. I had none. I couldn't even do one sit-up. Okay, I still can't, but, no, actually I can, but I had very little core muscles because the back had been, the back brace had been supporting me my entire life. So physical exercise and strength is very important. And last, uh, you can also do stretching and types of therapies such as physical therapy, um, where they give you stretches to do and stuff like that. Some doctors that you may see would be an orthopedic surgeon, a physical therapist, a pediatrician, a primary care provider, um, uh, and, and now an orthopedic surgeon, this, and orthopedics basically means your bones. And so for me, I had an orthopedic doctor uh, that worked with me directly on my brace. Um, I don't know the specific name of her base or her specific degree, but in the next few episodes, I believe, I will be talking more extensively about treatment options, what does that mean, who do you see, what will they tell you, all sorts of things like that. But basically, scoliosis is a deformity in the spine and a spectrum. It can either be not that severe or it can be life altering, crippling even. And I want to be the YouTuber that tells you guys what it was like living with scoliosis, living with a back brace, and how it can help you. So please, if you know anybody that has scoliosis and maybe needing to seek treatment or has just been told they need treatment or someone who is in the midst of treatment. Maybe they're wearing a back brace or they are looking towards surgery or you know someone who is a parent or a care provider of someone with scoliosis. Please, please, please share this video with them. Tell them about this series. I want this experience that I went through to be a support for someone else, a learning opportunity, a teaching moment. My dream is that the stuff that I went through that honestly left me spiraling can now help someone else to not spiral because while YouTube wasn't around when I got my brace, it is now. And I just want everybody to be educated on something that is very common and can deeply affect one's life. So things to look forward to, learning about all the various treatment options, hearing my personal story, uh, learning very specifically about each treatment option, um, learning on what to be prepared for um, when you have to get a brace, um, how to take care of yourself while you have a back brace, um, all these different things. And parents, if you need someone to talk to, I please comment. Uh, message me. I have Facebook, I have um, Instagram, I have Twitter. I rarely go on Twitter, but I am there. Um, please reach out to me. Send me a message. Say, hey, I need help. I need support. I also am going to be having my parents um, come in and talk a little bit too about their experience. So please, if you need support, if you need help, if you just need information and you need it faster than the videos that I'm going to put up, please leave a comment down below. Contact me on my social media. Please, I don't want anyone feeling overwhelmed or alone in this world because you're not alone despite it, how it may feel in the moment. 
so I hope you guys are having a fabulous morning, afternoon, day, night, and evening, wherever you may be, and I can't wait to talk to you guys um, all about treatment options and a little bit more about my story in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.